to part one of our two-part series on how to tell your boyfriend you're vegan and really just have him not freak out. Yeah. When you tell your boyfriend you're vegan, you just can't say, I'm vegan and that's all there is. You're, they're going to want to know, like, why are you doing this? Because they're going to obviously have questions for you. Make sure you know why you're doing this and do your research on where you're going to get all your nutrients from. So then you're not just like stumbling and stuttering around what you're going to say. And obviously they're going to be worried about you. So you definitely want to like have facts so that you can say why I'm doing it. This is how I'm going to do it so that you can answer their questions that they're clearly going to have. Yeah, exactly. So this is really important, especially if you live with your boyfriend, just because when you're first starting out, it, more likely than not, you're both going to be buying different foods for a while. When you said you first went vegan and yeah. you guys tried to shop together, it was really It was difficult. just like a disaster because we would walk through the grocery store and I would just be spending hours on end just reading labels and crying and not understand what I could eat. It's better you go to the grocery store first, you know, spend as much time as you want so you're not being like pressured or you're not under like a time constraint and just find out what you can eat and then just bring all that home and then once you're more comfortable with the grocery store and what foods you can and can't have then you guys can go together but still do your own groceries for a while because he's not going to be eating what you're going to be eating and that's fine and if you want to try things like you don't want to have to try and talk him into trying a new recipe or whatever you can just like get your own groceries try it whatever you want and then if it doesn't turn out good you don't feel like you're failing and that's like, true and then you're not making a meal that he's like this is what vegan food tastes like because it's like your first time yeah. making it and he's like hey this is gross yeah, that way you can start making your own meals and then eventually like i've been vegan now for a year and a half brock and i are at the point where i still get my own groceries but we make meals together and we have different meals that we really like that are vegan documentaries are been planned in a way that everything is eloquently said like they have their facts already so they can probably explain things better than you can at the beginning and I mean there's so many documentaries that are this is kind of another point that we're gonna make but that have different angles to them oh sorry so watching documentaries is just really important to like ex also explain in a researched way why people go vegan so that just because I don't know like for me I think a documentary could explain better what I'm trying to say than I can yeah and then there's so many out there Brock for example my boyfriend he really connected to the um, best speech ever documentary he really connected to like Gary Yervosky he thought he was such a cool person and he just really liked that style he wasn't so much into like we watched a lot of documentaries sorry we watched, we watched a lot of documentaries, but that was his favorite. So watch a bunch of different ones, and then eventually you'll find he really likes, and maybe he'll look at veganism in a whole new way. When I'm just kind of rambling on about things, I tell my boyfriend pretty much everything, and sometimes I'll just ramble on, and like he'll just kind of disregard what I'm saying as like me just thinking out loud kind of thing. And so if I just kind of one day was like, yeah, and I think I'm going to go vegan, and just kind of said it one-off, like I didn't... I didn't seem like I thought it was important. I don't think they'll even take you as like being serious. So I think if you really sit down with them and you take some time to explain like why you're doing it and why it's important to you, then they'll see that you're really serious about this and you're committed to it. And they'll just be, it'll, they'll, it'll show that you're actually passionate about this. You just have to be like, I'm so passionate about animals and I'm so passionate about my health and I just really want your support. And if you just take that angle, then of course, I mean, if they're the person for you, they will support you. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to tell if they aren't supportive at all. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and if they see that it's important to you, clearly if somebody loves you, then they're going to want to support you in things that are really important to you. Just Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> sorry. This was one of my favorites because I think it really did help Brock in the beginning because he didn't know any vegans before me. He didn't really know even what veganism was. When I took him to a vegan restaurant in Halifax called Envy, they they just um, they make amazing things. They can make yeah like eggs and bacon and vegan clam chowder and like a vegan um, Philly cheesesteak and burritos and, and burritos. And if you take them to a good vegan restaurant, because obviously in the beginning you're not going to be a very good chef and you won't be able to cook the best food and you get let someone else do the cooking for you, then they're going to realize oh my god vegan vegan food is actually so good will open their eyes to, wow, you're going to be actually eating real food. Okay, we're good. Have took me, um, for my birthday, we went to Wild Leek, which is another restaurant yeah, here in so Halifax, good. and um, 
he was kind of skeptical. He went to Wild Leek and he had like a, it was kind of like an open face bean burger and he devoured it. He thought it was the best thing ever and now he actually asks me like, he says like he's craving it and wants to go there. When they see that the food can be amazing, then they they don't most likely don't care what it's made of. Okay, that was the end of part one. So head over to my channel. Yeah. Head over to my channel for part two. Thank you.